it is the small hours, whatever that means, and it's a St. Sinner's Hospital, Ward 3. Yes, I quite understand. That is a great weight off my mind. Sherlock Holmes? Which is sure I shall put everything in its place, exactly as we've discussed. Thank you so much. It's been an honor and a pleasure to be acquainted with you, Mr. Holmes. On the contrary, the pleasure's been mine. I bid you farewell, and Godspeed. Why is Sherlock Holmes making secret deals with somebody- Whoa! Suzano? Why is he making secret deals with her in the middle of the night? I just- I- It sounded like he was going to mess around with the crime scene and put things in certain places where they don't belong. No! No, Sherlock. No, Sherlock. This- I don't like this. I- I-, I I'm not a fan. Not a fan. This- this seems dangerous and scary and I- I don't know. Perhaps we've not seen the last of Suzano. Anyway, uh, when I woke up the next morning, Suzato was gone. She was already out of the country, and it was raining. And so began a really, really long day that I'd remember for the rest of my life. Good morning, Gina. I'm gonna prove your innocence today. I'm sure we can do it. Ah, where's your friend? Suzato, Suzato, she's, she's gone back to Japan. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be okay. I wanna focus on the trial and not her right now. And there's nothing I can do about it. She left at like four in the morning. I'm sure we'll meet again someday when I, when I finish my uh, tour here of England and go back to Japan, right? Hey, Iris. Oh, she brought the kitty. Such a nice cat. Hmm. Newspaper. Let's see this. Oh dear. Now let's hear the bad news. Tons of rain this morning. So the bad news was a weather report. Um, okay, Suzato might have been delayed by the rain. Wow, so that could be the good news. What if she's here to help us in the trial? Or not. I, 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 I don't know. I don't really care about the weather here, so... <laughs> like, I'm gonna be inside a courtroom all day anyway. Definitely prove this headline is nonsense, and I will prove Gina's innocence. Discharged diver is dauntless do-gooder. Yeah, yeah, what a great headline. Mmm, not very snappy, though. Pickpocket found innocent. Huh? Huh? That'd be a good, good headline. Well, why is the newspaper being added to court? record 
Why? Let's check it out. Is there something else on the other side uh, uh, on the page? Look. Ministry Mole classified secrets leaked from Department of Justice? Secret communications between Britain and its allies. Intercepted by hostile nations. Oh man, this is not good. It could be that top secret thing that uh, Lord Strongheart's working on. Okay, looks like it is very good that I looked that up, um, because that has changed the evidence. I can't find anything interesting here. Well, why can't we read the story? Come on, let's read the story about Mr. Windebank. Proud Picket. Proud Pickpocket. Test Planet? I don't know. Anyway, okay, so it's good to know that there are foreign agencies spying on England. Well, that's that's not good at all. But it, it's obviously important to the trial, so. Let's, let, let, let's keep that in mind. Iris, I don't think they're going to let you inside the courtroom, especially with a weapon. Yeah, what's up with Sherlock Holmes? He okay? What? No, I saw him. He is not unconscious. He is still awake. Right? He had a secret meeting with, with Suzato. No Suzato. No Sherlock Holmes. Wow, I'm really on my own. Gina's trying to put on a brave face, but I can tell she's worried and scared. You've got to believe in her from start to finish. That's the weapon to secure our victory. I learned anything from my friend Kazuma. It's that. Man, I wish I could have gotten some hairstyling tips from him. That would have been the best. But no, I didn't learn any hairstyling tips from him. I, I, I just learned about believing in my clients and stuff. Oh great, Van Zeeks is the prosecutor. Oh cool. I guess it would have been weird if we had a different prosecutor for, for the final case. Same judge, too. The prosecution is ready. The defense is ready. And Zeke's. My lord. Remind me, how many years ago did you uh, quit from the public service? Oh, five years ago, my lord. Yes, and you took two trials two months ago, and here you are again today. What is really going on with... It's very erratic behavior, very confusing. I mean, you dealt exclusively with highest echelons of society and governments. But now you're doing a, a burglary case? That's very befuddling, Council. There are two people I can't abide. First, wealthy scoundrels who hide behind a mask of philanthropy to cheat the public. Yeah, Mr. McGilded. Gilded was kind of a monster. Secondly, even more loathsome. I despise wily scoundrels who masquerade as allies only to effect total betrayal in the final hour. Whose confidence tricks 
monsters. Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why, why are you saying the Japanese are, are scoundrels that, that stab you in the back at the last second? Whoa. How has my country betrayed your country? We're allies. Yeah, does he hate me in particular, all Japanese people? Does he think that I was somehow betraying uh, him by switching places with Kazuma? I... Hmm. Because I swear to you, that was not some sort of evil trick on behalf of the Japanese government. Even though Kazuma and I were involved to play a top-secret Japanese Department of Justice trial right before I left. Ooh, I can see why he's getting the wrong impression. Okay, we have six jurors picked at ran random. I I I know you. I know you. You were a juror in in like the first trial. I mean, case number three, right? This guy might be new. I think. This doctor looks like the old guy from case number four. She was a juror in case number one, yes. And this is the evil Russian revolutionary from case number two. Yeah, that, that might... Yeah, maybe he's the one who's planning some sort of top-secret governmental evil. Yeah. Really? What a weird coincidence. Yeah. Jurors are chosen at random from six million people. I don't know, did somebody, like, fix the jury? I don't know. A word of warning to the jury. There's never been a more self-evident case of cold-blooded murder. I think there has been. I'm pretty sure we've got a lot of weird details going on with this case. I don't think it's a uh, cut and dry. Okay, so Pop Windebank. Shot from behind. Died instantly. As the court will observe, a single bullet wound below his left shoulder. Yeah, and you can see, like, the gunpowder and stuff, so he's shot um, from relatively close range. The bullet was a uh, rising diagonal trajectory. So that means the gun was uh, somehow below. No, was she that much shorter than uh, the victim? I don't. I don't think we have their heights anywhere in evidence. It could be that the the culprit was sitting down, right? I want to take a look at both pieces of evidence, but here we've got a third piece of evidence. Wow. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's a pretty good map. No windows. Only one point of entry. Victim and the accused were the only ones found inside the locked room. She was found holding the gun. So I am going to argue um, we had multiple gunshot wounds, and it feels like... I mean, we had multiple guns fired, right? Right? And it feels like we should mention the fact that Sherlock Holmes was at, at, at the crime scene, too. That, that seems like it'd be relevant. I mean, we 
had two thugs there. How do they relate? My learned friend, you shouldn't jump to conclusions. I've barely begun presenting my case. Conveniently, this murder didn't go unobserved. There were witnesses! After their testimony, her nature will be exposed. Pitiful pick purse or cold-hearted killer? He is to establishing the truth. Okay, but before we do that, let's check out that evidence. I want to check out this evidence. Okay, crime scene photograph. It was just a photograph. Hmm, alrighty. Mail, time of death, 1.30 a.m. Reported by me. By me. That, uh, yeah. Okay, okay, we've got a time frame. Sorry, the time frame is 1 to 1.30. It's not that he died at 1.30. Okay, good to know. Single bullet wound, upper half of the back. No signs of trauma. Posterior, anterior bullet. I think that just means from behind. Okay, bullet entered the body from the back. On a gently, gently rising. Hmm. Does, does, do we have the heights of these, these characters? So let's, ah, uh, there's Van Zeeks. Boy, is he angry. Boy, is he angry. Yeah, I forgot about this guy. We, we don't know much about him. So, Gina, I don't know how to tell how tall she is in relation to him. Hmm. Oh, great. These things are added to evidence. Well, let's look at both. Let's look at both, because I was just examining evidence. Alrighty. Interesting. Because there's a gun... Gun here, right? That There's a bullet, bullet found there. So the gun must have been fired. Yeah, I don't know what that gun firing was. Unless, like, the the calendar was here and it was moved there, maybe? Or was one of the... The body was moved or the calendar was moved, maybe. And then also Sherlock Holmes was around here when he got shot. Okay. Good to know. Let's check out this. Cylinder's empty. He only had one bullet. It could be that he fired his bullet just trying to protect his um, safe house from thieves. And I see no no other no other clues. Nothing else I can zoom in on there. Whew. Let's begin. Bring forth the witnesses to the murder of Pop Windebank. Okay. These two fellows. And, uh, Inspector Gregson, huh? So these two must have been the, the robbers. The robbers. Hmm. Professional Brady. Nash Skulkin. Ringo Skulkin. So they were the ones that shot Sherlock Holmes. They're the three Skulkin brothers. And uh, Gregson's not going to be dancing around with them. He, he He's not a, a criminal like you two. All right. It's our older bruv. Lost contact with him, we have. So we're scouring any every corner trying to find him. And you look just like our brother, eh? He is, he is. Very spit of him. So, we decided we're gonna call you... Big Bruv Skulky. Sulky. Okay, well, once again, we have really, 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 really weird witnesses. How am I not surprised? 